sounds of the city. If you can hear them, I'm not sure through the AirPods. Morning from Australia. Hi. Great to have you here. 919 are the energies. For those that were guided um, at this time, caught me by surprise. I just finished saying um, <laughs> I'm restarting myself. And so I'm taking you through those who you were spectacularly on here right now, 6th of June, <clears throat> 919 energies for something very new and different. You're going to be combining triple energies, so take a breath and release and just consciously take that in, Trinity. It's been a triple bifurcation process, has been nutso of beyond what can now be actually put into human words. So it's more now, we have reached that place, more now of you need to feel in. If you're not feeling the knowing, you're not you're stagnating in your evolutionary consciousness. I have many emotions running through me right now, tears coming and going and up and down. So I am um, going to reveal all my facets, all my whole bits today, right now with you all. Like six months combination all into one right here. Some comes over, we may have to move. I'll look at that later. It's beyond the buildings right now. Uh, for those of you that saw, I shared the um, Brisbane Treasury Casino photo. Um, so over 100 years ago, over 100 years ago, where I am residing for these four days with this third <clears throat> eclipse and its elastic lunar eclipse for 2020. So ultra powerful. We've been broken in spirit and soul energy. We're doing a reset within a reset, hence spirit guiding me to stay here at the treasury, the old treasury. There's just so much to this. A few people um, picked up and wrote, wow, Stasia, um, one in particular wrote, um, seems most appropriate you staying at the treasury to do this energy work. To me, that building represents the old systems, <clears throat> excuse me, especially the financial system, which is now outdated. The new frequency calls for new ways of exchange. I know what you're doing there, apart from your description in the email. Will be having a positive impact. So yes, there was a, um, others that write, oh, isn't that interesting? And I, um, you know, part of me assumed that it was very obvious, the fact that I was at the Treasury Casino, the fact that I am a one of the 144 chosen to bring a new light paradigm energies to the planet newly. That today I nearly wanted to go behind the scenes again. Today, today, an hour ago, I nearly wanted to. Remember, this is for you, about you. And if you want to cry, cry. I can feel tears. I can feel, okay, Lisa's sobbing. So, you know, release, release, release. It's, and as I'm sharing, this is not for you to answer me, to console me. Please don't, I don't like pats on the head. Uh, Grandmaster bringing through something unique where you cannot give me a pat on the head and say so you know exactly what I mean because this is coming from the highest level from source in spirit and soul, you will be feeling the different layers and levels for yourself. That I do know, the tip of the spear 
at the forefront for myself yet. What I just went through was coming into the capital city of my state here in Queensland to do some greed, new re-greed healing consciousness by staying in this ancient energy right here where I am, permeating out, 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 out through myself, my state, my country, all the chakras of the world, the whole world from here. Others have roles called to go to sacred temples and sites. This is mine because I work with human consciousness. So it makes sense to be amongst the people when I'm working with the consciousness and the super consciousness to the planet. Yes, boom. So wasn't that a fucking shock for me recently after not only already been living at home, um, doing my thing behind the scenes like many of you, um, all this stuff in the world. Um, I'm just seeing someone in the room's going to come out. It's an open veranda, but, you know, she'll just have to fit in with me so um and shattered spirit and soul and uh, the angels always carry me the last two days i was broken before i came and then there was another two days <coughs> excuse me and that's why today's an extra day i'm staying here because it seems people like to see things from sites and the energy from the places and you know I either come out more masters and do things differently or I go behind the scenes and people can book in if they want to get the latest on what's happening and for them. So I can feel these, these two crossroads, not even crossroads, and these energies. And I, at the moment I'm going, mm -hmm, which one will I do? I want to pull back. I just I understand why other trailblazers like myself who have around the age of 60 didn't make it past because the intensity of an ascension pioneer trailblazer in human embodiment, living spirit and soul is brutal on all layers and levels. I am a and the template for this for the whole of the planet. You are right here. Namaste to you for you and your role. This just happens to be mine. So part of me is like, you know, I keep saying, we're the few, we're the minority, we're the minority. And we can't give up. We're not able to give up. You might say I'm not. Hear me out, please. We need to find a double blend of, of mixing back in with society while remaining in our spaces, it's double, double, honestly, it's double and double, double, double. Things have doubled. A reset within a reset, I assure you. So if you've been trying to get your head around this, or you've been trying to understand, all I can say is that you have already provided your own answer in the future. You just need to reach it and keep having faith and trust in yourself. And the biggest mantra energetically that has just come through is forgive myself saying it within yourself quietly with your eyes closed at the moment hear the sound of your own voice internally not verbalizing it and feel just these two words in this space here right where these wings are higher 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 heart forgive myself does that energy permeate, release, it doesn't matter what, where, why, what, when, doesn't matter. <gasps> That's how it works when you've got it. Forgive myself. Oh, release. And I don't know what it is. I just know I've released it. Keep doing that again and again and again. And it has been super fat, powerful. And that may not seem like much to you, but when it's just specifically given to me from spirit, certain mantras, holy, <clears throat> golden, healing, words together, those vibrations are very powerful, linked deep. It's, it's a combination of how I'm explaining to use that mantra. It would not capture it if I just wrote that in words, would it, you know, it's not. So maybe less writing, uh, more in my ebook and just select top of the iceberg information in updates because it seems masters that 
souls are resonating to those more. So I'm now looking at, do I share the below the iceberg with the top? Of course, some of you will. Or do I keep that in my ebook and then just share the bits? Because what happens is the blow of the iceberg is so deep and so big, it rarely gets shared out. I'm all about let's share this energy out. And I'm not into pushing, I'm not into advertising. So I work and feel on the rotation of the whole planet of humanity's consciousness all the time as it's evolving and changing and we're growing in the new earth energies and, and being at the tip and the spear for humanity, I can bring through to you new energy golden codes firstly from source through me in, in supreme white light of Shekina. Let me know once in my spirit and soul directly to you. So I'm in the process of working out what to share with you more now as guided. I'm looking at what to keep in my ebook. I'm up to about chapter 19. So I've got to be a very long one, but it'll be a living book when you flick and you'll read a bit about the energies. And I put the date now in numerical. I keep laughing and I do my Star Trek. It's star date zero five zero seven two oh two oh well that's exactly what it is with the numbers on each chapter will be put just straight out like that so that's my star date <laughs> and the information within the ebook um is all the tips and the hints with the energies and it's a living ascension book because i'm coming from 90 so wherever you are you can pick that up and turn to a bit and it may have the dragon card that came for that day. So that's in the process because I have to get this deep purging of the iceberg out. I realized that I didn't write for two days. I went, oh, fuck this, I can't do this just because I, I, I'm staying at accommodation. No, that's a part of me, I'm a scribe. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I, it's, it's, it's a living extension of me to have a, a pencil and a notepad and, and to be able to write. I can't do with that. It is my lifeline survival for me. So it was really good for me to embrace that. Anyway, so that's where I'm in the process of working through my for myself. Okay, we're 15 minutes in, so I'm just going to see. I just wanted to give you that verbal update. Yeah, well, give up, Lisa. If that's what you're feeling, do it. Give up of the old, honey. Um, give it up. I did. It's only then you're going to break through and choose what you really want to do. So what I did, Masters, I'm being honest, admitting to you very recently, um, I kind of go through this every month, though, with um, where humanity's at, where I'm at with my private New Light 144 New Light Paradigm group, um, that if any soul has resonated to ask to join, for those that have already resonated, I'm giving you a clarion call, letting no spirit saying the door's there, visible to those. The It is AU44 per month. Spirit chooses what souls come in. So if you have heard me, speak and write about this private 144 new light paradigm group here please private message me in your own time and spirit will let me know what it is for you it doesn't hurt to ask if you if you've had that before so that's i didn't realize that was coming out just now because i have two souls and i'm linked to my spiritual soul when my higher self and my spirit talk through me as it's coming out as the first time I'm hearing it consciously in the human I live and come from two souls okay you're learning and I'm helping guide and teach those that want it I'm just making this information energy available of what it took for me to link because previously in past lifetimes we were not gifted our spiritual soul I was I am the very first of my high angelic kind Archangel energies in bringing through a link from spiritual soul through emotions on the planet feels good for me to state this 
as I state this for myself, it will trigger energies for you to ground in of what it is for you, for your role and purpose of what you chose to do. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Morning, Steve. Thank you, Kimberly. Bless you too. Yes. I'm thanking me for going live too, Carrie, because I didn't expect it. So thanks, Spirit, actually. Um, thank you, um, Tarika. Sylvia, Amelia, Amanda. Hey, Maddie. Barefoot Gypsy, Dawn, Krista, Rachel, Lauren, Yasu, Vicky, Shelby, Jamie. Okay, 18 minutes in. Shifting, 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 shifting. Okay, what was trapped in here, guys, was an energy of verbal mind chatter over analysis causes paralysis. And we need to see that dark ball of energy of overanalyzing with our third eye and, and start seeing it release or break up and start shifting and visualize it penetrating that black ball that's blocking and chung 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 poke holes through it. Don't ask me to make that noise again. It was an exclusive one of <laughs> like little lasers and disperse the cloud. Okay, be aware of the over analysis of the spiritual analysis caused paralysis that it took me a little while to see it for what it was to release it. So, 1933, remember those numbers? Come back and listen to that, what I just said when this is finished. Okay, big energy release 919. So I'm going to now share, if anyone see the great pic on my timeline of like the Venus goddess, like the statue and a big whisk of energy with a heart with a bat in it. Just incredible goddess energies, you know, just amazing in the clouds. And the other day, the, 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 the figure like that zooming in, you know, it was just incredible, incredible. So let's have a look at 919. That's when I knew I was coming on and I went, okay, so be it. And so now we look at what 919 is and this is gonna be very exciting. Number one, uh, 919 brings a message from the angels that a situation or phase in your life has come to an end and a new door has opened for you as a result of your positive thoughts, intentions and actions. Keep everything in faith and trust in a positive energy flip the negative in faith and trust you may not understand in that given moment what's going on <coughs> here we go <coughs> flip it <coughs> there's a throat chakra healing for yourself there we go this is a throat chakra for the world That inner, inner voice. Release that. It's really time to face oneself in the inner, inner whisperings. Please, it's hurting you more to not listen than what some may feel in, in, in it's very depressing or whatever. Please do yourself a favour. Allow yourself to feel those inner, inner whisperings and just own them for yourself. And when you do, they will release and you will be able to make some choices and how beautifully perfect. Do not miss. 919, I got told to come on. And now I'm reading 919 and listen, it's exactly what I've been talking about. Please do not miss. It's all about the small stuff. The amazing magic miracle of 919 and it's now coming up. Please do not miss that. Doesn't matter how far you've ascended, master, grandmaster, whatever. If we don't enjoy the synchronicities in those given moments of fucking point of pushing through and do, slow down and appreciate the 919, appreciate the small miracles along the way and slow time down for yourself. You need to slow it all down for yourself. It's taken me 
like feels like weeks and longer for me. I've been slaying myself down for a little while. It's just taken me a very long time ahead, pushing through to pass all this feedback through to you of what it is, tip of the spear to break through that first leap of the planet. Anyway, so it is time for you to make some fresh starts and look forward to new beginnings in regard to the direction of your life and your lifestyle choices. Keep your mindset positive and optimistic. Fill your thoughts with love and light. Walk your spiritual path with confidence and surety. Pay attention to inner visions, dreams. Listen, visions and dreams is you working in spirit. That's the other you. That I say you in spirit, when you put protection, put one around your spirit and one round here as well. Two golden pyramids, mirrors facing inwards, <clears throat> the mirrors facing outwards. And it takes a few moments to focus, close your eyes, see yourself visualize in the pyramid. <sighs> All the crap rinsing off and see the mirrors facing inwards. <sighs> there it goes. And one underneath. <sighs> And it pushes all the bullshit and crap out under your beautiful energy. And then you put mirrors on the outside. That takes a few minutes to do that. Okay? Really does. We need to slow down and protect. If we don't slow down and protect, how are we going to get around on the rest of our day? We'll be open. We'll be going to war all the time. Why wouldn't you go outside in the outside world with your spiritual armor of, of putting yourself in your protection? And don't tell me you don't need fucking protection. And what a lot of bullshit. Okay, to those people in spiritual ego, they're so fucking far up themselves when they say, yeah, I need spiritual protection. Ah, oh, my vibration's so high. Nothing gets to me. Do you want a, 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 a cup of humble? A dose of reality fucking chip? Yes, we get it. Okay, however, we hear feeling, walking, talking, spiritual in a human body that is the reality in this outside world if you're not oblivious to all the energies going on and you're part of it as a new ascending earth master to walk talk reveal who you truly are while protecting we need to speak up and start talking this world is not going to change itself if we do not each start Speaking up, and I'm going to give you an example, and then I'm going to go. I didn't expect you to tell you this story. Okay. Something really big happened for me yesterday. <laughs> just give me a few minutes. Um, I didn't know I was going to tell you what happened. Okay, <clears throat> let me just shift. Each time that I've gone away over the years, I've been going away. Three days for many, many years to bring the energies in for the planet. Yet I didn't see you, as I'm stating, verbalising it more now, being at the treasury, making a difference. Because I've been hidden behind the scenes for so long, and then I see others at Egypt and um, Sedona and all these places that have this big significance and everything. Yet I was doing exactly the same. Like many of you do your stuff with others and greet yourself along those lines, hey? And so this time I just verbalized it more and made it a bit more because Spirit said, you've got to come out more now. I'm like, what does that mean? So, all right, share more, share more, you know? Um, so each time I've met people and a person, that was very life-changing. One time it was two street kids. Um, I've got a photos of them and I was guided to sit with them for quite a few hours and we sat down and we spoke for hours on the streets, um, gave him um, a smoked tobacco, then gave him some ciggies and gave him a little bit of money each, you know, whatever. I gave him some money and we just chatted and just healed and it just, the next day I went back and um, hearing both of their stories of the abuse and the trauma just did this you know tears of what it was very interesting so that was just one of the trips and I knew this was what it was uh to come into the heart of the city again and do that healing with those um you know it's not on television though you know many of us do <clears throat> it's not about that either I'm saying this for a reason so 
I was outside the other night in an area because I smoke my herbs, my herbal, then it's not tobacco. And it's a natural smoker's blend. I think it's five months I've given up and don't even know what I've put on the weight. <laughs> that comes with that. That's okay. It'll come off again. It's better to be off the tobacco with the toxins. But I still like to smoke. It was like, don't tell me not, you know, I enjoy the meditation. So I, I found a way to get off the nicotine. Um, and I had to do it very slowly because I've um, been through other um, abusive substance um, addictions. I've broken through three major addictions, at least in my life. So each one of them, I had to do it my way. Because don't tell me do, so, don't. So one of my super master classes will be on addictions on how I did it more to take you through the steps. Um, I think that's super master class number four. Anyway, as now's not the time for that. So this female was outside. We're having in the cigarette area. She was talking to this guy. She had a wine in her hand. And she looked at me and said something. I just said, hey, how are going? Because everyone was closed off and it was just like when I first got here for two days, I'm like, wow, fuck. People are just, I just got a real rude double reality check and then everyone had just come out after three months out. So they were in a really weird space and, oh, my God, rocked my world for 48 hours solid being here. It was just incredible. So um, <clears throat> it's like the old peace pipe, Teresa. It's like the old. <coughs> it's like the shaman um, ceremonial. So um, then she just looked at me and she said, oh, my God, you're a natural beauty. You're beautifully naturally. And the guy next to her, he, you know, and, and he said, yeah, you are, you are, you know, as, as guys sometimes can just, you know. And but she didn't stop there. She then rattled off what I was like instantly. Oh, my God, you don't judge people. Oh, my God, you see visions too. Oh, my God, you're into spirituality. And she just kept listening, listening, listening. And I have never in my life ever met someone that's just come and gone, boom, and you this and you that. And I just went. And she then said, am I saying too much? I said, oh, no, you're exactly right. You are more right than you can imagine. And she just kept talking and she was very anxious. And then, and this at the other, her parents were Greek. And I just looked at her and her grandparents migrated. And I just said, I'm Greek too. And she's just, oh, my God. And then it flashed in, is this the person that I'm meant to be doing whatever like the other two very briefly? And then she went, you have to stay and talk to me. You need to stay and talk to me. We're meant to be talking right now. You need to stay and talk to me. And I didn't. I listened to her. I gave her a hug. I said, I may come back later because inside I went, I'm not here to work. Because that felt like work. I'm not here. I'm here for a break. I'm not here to do this too. I shifted that timeline right there and then but for her to tell me those exact words of what spirit already told me i'm meant to be working with you it's me it's me the one that you've been told by spirit that you're coming to do your work and i didn't do it and i was okay and i walked away and i shifted out of the energy that was a sliding doors moment in human reality now just that was very big those things okay it doesn't finish there's one more story to tell you from here before i go So the next day, I was catching a lift, elevator lift. The one next door was broken. Quite a few people with the COVID restrictions, only four allowed in each lift, one in each corner. And there was many people on each floor. <coughs> Excuse me, because they were slow as well. So I got in on my floor. <clears throat> Others got in. We filled the four spots. But before I got in the lift that was free for me, the people before me had four. I went to get in. They, no, 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 stop. Not allowed to come in. Four, right? I'm like, hmm. okay, whatever. Move on. Wait for the next lift. So as we did the same, had four in, 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 in the lift, um, An older couple, older, older couple, 
I'm not sure why you asked why, Krista. Um, older older couple come in, and he was funny. He was lighthearted. You could see that he'd been through a lot. He just said, "I won't cuddle you. I won't touch you. It's okay." He was just. I just laughed. I said, "I'm not looking. That there's sex in here." And we just made light of it. Okay. He was a really beautiful soul. Anyway, it stopped off at another floor, and um, this the doors say this wide. This guy was about this wide, big, over six foot. And we just, you know, said the same thing at the other floors. No, you know, we're full, not able to, you know, keep going, keep going. And he just started charging in and going off. And I lost it. I pushed out and pushed him out. And he had, it was about 10 people outside waiting. And he had three others with him that weren't as big. And I went off. What the fuck do you think you were doing? Listen, bro, none of us like this shit, but we got to play the game. Do you want the police to come and find us with this? I fucking don't. So, bro, just chill. Leave it. We just wait for the next one. I've been waiting for a long time too. And he lowered his eyes and he moved back. That was a lot calmer than what actually really happened. It was really full on. I was very masculine, feminine, divine, and 10 foot tall. Thou shalt not fucking pass. And he did it. And he shit. He lowered his eyes like a tribe of respect of an elder. I was protecting all those people. These boys were there to cause some big fucking trouble. He started slinkering off like he knew. Mate, you're over the edge. You're on some fucking drugs or something and you come in here. It was scary. And the others, hey, 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 bro, you know, come on, let's whatever. And he just, and they just slunk off. And all these people looking at me and I said, and he's scared because he thinks I'm a policewoman. I said, very close. I'm ex-military. And I just lightened it up and laughed inside. My adrenaline was just raging, pumping. So I had to breathe and keep calm. Uh, Krista, why the slide do it a new reality? Thanks. I'll continue. That moment I just described with those boys was a sliding door to a new reality of I didn't allow the men to come in and whatever trouble that shifted them, that boy was going over the top and needed someone to clip him over the head, pull him by the fucking ear, settle down, son. He could have been heading to doing something very disastrous. That's a sliding door moment. The one with the female... I could have stayed in that moment and given my energy and, and there and connected with her and help her to understand who she was and tell her how accurate and beautiful and everything. But it was not my role this time. She was already too far broken. She was not ready for me. I was not going to go to that reality. I chose in that moment to walk away the previous reality of doing that and I left. And with these gentlemen with this left situation let me tell you i'll aim to go for 40 minutes i walked outside across the road that one has a treasury ah uh, there was green grass and i floated and my feet were not touching the ground and i rang my spiritual uh sister who did essences and vibrations she was already doing them for the female generational line ancestry. I didn't know that. We'd already arranged in the morning to do essences for myself, my mother, herself, her mother. Okay. So while she was doing them, all this situation happened. I went to the grass and called her. And she didn't know why I was calling. She just said, oh, these essences, this is for all the female ancestral generation. This is something else. I said, you listen to me. What is something else? And I just broke down and cried in a good way. And I said, oh, my God, I'm a fucking God. What just happened? And I just said, she said, you know, it was just all the ancestral female line generation. That is what three back specifically. That is what you're going through and breaking now. I'm going to read some parts of an email that Grace after this shared with me about our energies with this is that by understanding our broken spirit and soul, I take responsibility 
I forgive myself. I release them and myself from this emotional burden. Our mothers and all our female ancestry lineage of the goddess energy, pure divine of healing, all the wounds, tragedies and traumas that are a reflection of me on the whole planet. Do it for yourself right now with your grief. Thirty-seven, sixty, thirty-eight. 68. Okay, so go back to the 37.50 mark to re-watch that. I am the remedy to set myself free. My freedom and liberation is the understanding that I abandoned myself from source. This is for you, listen. Carrying the mistrust and wounds reflecting of others that are actually mine. I am the remedy to set myself free. My freedom and liberation is in the understanding that I abandoned myself from source. Carrying the mistrust and wounds reflecting of others that are actually mine. Welcome to the alternative reality. My woundings are for me to control, for me to be responsible, and for me to change my behavior. I am the remedy to my life, and I release past wounding, and I am paying it forward for generations to come. I am responsible. I am the remedy. I surrender. Internally without words, forgiving Myself, myself's generational lineage, that's why it's forgiving myself. We're carrying in ourselves the wounding of the female general li generational lines within ourselves. When our grandmothers and great-grandmothers were born, they were carrying within them the seed of our birth as well. This is what we're changing and releasing, masters. It's really really super super big so let me take a minute well we're at 40 minutes now <sighs> that was super intense that was a really big shift sliding door energy shifts to do with divine feminine taking her power back and that's what it was in the moment in the left, it was so super powerful. I <clears throat> took total control of the energy space. We are super powerful in human beings when we love, honor and respect ourselves. It takes strength to grow from our traumas. But you know what, you're first, you're starting new for new generations through you so feel into you don't want to be here and see what you come up with. Go with it. No one taught me that. It's something I learnt myself is go with the opposite. It's the only thing that's worked with me when all else didn't work is go with it. And that's not saying I feel like jumping off a bridge. Oh, go with that. Let's not be too silly about that. Okay. I'm just asking, is there anything else that I'm to share before I go? I'm going to read. I'm going to say goodbye to you all before I read a little bit, as I do. I don't know what it means for me from here, newly. I'm not tied in to anything at the moment. So the rest of the time and day here, it's 77% my battery, <laughs> is... Where do I want to go from here? What do I want to uptake with delivering and bringing through? Is it less? Is it whatever? So that's where I'm at at the moment. And um, I have my whole day here to allow myself this brand new freedom of a brand new extra day that I've never had four before. It's always been three. So this time I was guided to have another day to break through this freedom here in all the energies to bring through this new energy through myself through my city through my state through my beautiful amazing country of new atlantis rising energies right here from australia that's what we're bringing through 
we are leading the way forward. Even Cryon started this year ago. Australia energetically will be the forefront of the energies for the whole planet. Oh, I'm already starting. We're already here. We've been behind the scenes for a very long time and, and others before us. We're a relatively new, new country. Okay. And it, it's time for us to come out and shine our bright lights. So I am um, bringing through a new platform for me, for you, for all of us. But we need to step forward and speak up ourselves. Hey. So this is what I wrote today. I'm reinventing myself and all I do from here on a brand new future for myself. I now see I need to keep my mission a little separately in what I share and bring through publicly. Rebranding, they call it. I'm not branding a fucking thing. I'm going to continue on ahead on my own. That much I do know to keep going on a worldwide scale with my numbers of the new ascending earth masters. Those of you that see this, that are guided of the divine to the blue beyond guide. page on Facebook to myself personally that are in the new 144 New Light Paradigm group for those that felt a resonation to ask if it is your journey to come join us there for whatever other future videos I do for the ebook I'm now doing the underneath iceberg in my new ebook I've already written a couple that were not to be published that's okay I can keep writing For those who are feeling the call for the one-on-one -on -one divine healings as well and the new super master classes which number four is on addictions if you would like to be added to the email list for all of these videos and all of the updates the oracle speaks at bigpond.com bless you thank you you have the best day or night in 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 a brand new reinventing, recreating yourself by going with whatever it is you're feeling to allow that to release fully through you. You might be amazed and surprised what is at the other end is a very brand new clear space. And here comes the sun. What perfect timing for that beautiful bless. Thank you so much, Masters. And this will be on the Blue Beyond Guide YouTube as well. I'd love likes and subscriptions because it boosts the amount of the numbers of the energy to reach the planet. So please share away to others. Please don't hold back. Don't hold back. Share this energy out for others as it assists you. And that is our purpose. Love you. Bless. Thank you.